Gears of War the board game by Fantasy Flight and Epic Games. Now, first off, if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Welcome! This is my second video, the first one I did last week, and that was showcasing a blast from the past, an old Digimon board game, which was a lot of fun to record. I had a lot of fun with that one. And secondly, if you are a returning viewer, firstly again, thank you so much for sticking around in the hopes I would do another video. Here it is, I'm very excited for this one, Gears of War. Now this is an out of print board game. It came out a few years ago, quite hard to get hold of now unfortunately. Um, Fantasy Flight tend to pump out games that they get the IP license for and then they disappear into the board game nether realms and you never see them again except on eBay at scalpy prices. But I was very, very lucky with this one and I'm very happy about that. So we'll flip it over, we'll take a look. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on on this one. It's it's way more in depth than the last video. So if you are uh, if you're quite new to board games, this this will be interesting, I think. So anyway, let's read some flavor text. Uh, For a time, the humans of Serra knew the illusion of peace until Emergence Day. The Locust Horde arrived without warning. Countless soldiers and creatures spilled forth from their underground hollows. Now I'm not going to read it all. I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you've probably heard of Gears of War, if not played it. The aim of the game is to travel the barren landscapes of Serra. It's kind of like um, an alternate Earth planet where this horde, absolute plague of enemies from underground called the Locust have emerged and it's it's a full-scale war. And as you can see with the images on the back of, uh, back of this box, the aim is to travel across the board or the boards attacking the locusts and hopefully not succumbing to being eaten or mutilated or whatever the heck locusts do to to us citizens of Serra. But anyway, we'll uh, we'll open it up. We'll we'll take a we'll take a sneaky peek into what you get in this game. Now it is very very content heavy and I absolutely love that about this game. So I'll move the box lid out of the way. Rules of play. If anyone is familiar with Fantasy Flight, they do very, very in-depth, very colourful, very explanatory rule books, and sometimes even supplements as well. There'll be a rules reference guide to go with this, but that's all we get with this one. So I'll move that out of the way. Uh, this is the mission deck and locations cards piece. You play this at the side of the board whilst you're playing. I'll I'll explain that maybe in in a future video or if just a little bit in this one, because I'm I'm kind of showing off the contents in this video uh, rather than playing it because it is it is a massive game but a future video hopefully if anyone is interested i would uh, i would love to record a solo playthrough and explain everything in detail pretty much so the board you get an absolute mountain of these little pieces multi-sided as well they're all split into different locations each location uh, is a zone that you move your characters into these little arrows show that you can move your piece into cover so, like the Gears of War video game, cover plays a big part in this game. Um, I'll go through a few of these. They are really nice as well. Like I said, they are double-sided, so there's a lot of um, there's a lot of variety with with the pieces. So that's nice. Uh, that's a downed helicopter. More cover, cover. It's it's cover, cover, cover. The, there will be symbols and things you obviously you won't understand on this unless you've played the game. But we'll uh, we'll get into that. We'll get into that. So those are the those are the plain pieces. Anyway, really nice quality as well. The, like the printing is just superb, and we get a ton of them. We get a ton of them. It's never ending. Look, there's that one, and then it ends with a giant one, like a big a big arena for uh, for some nice set pieces and some uh, some boss battles. So look at all of this. Let's start with the basic stuff. So we've got a bag of dice. Um, the red dice are defense dice, so you roll those to avoid taking wounds from locusts. The black dice are the attack dice, and they've got the little uh, the little Gears of War symbol there, the uh, the cog. I think it's called the Omen symbol. Uh, right, we've got a mountain of cards. Please forgive that some of them have succumbed to me shaking the box and opening it up. Let me get rid of that. And I have sleeved all this up. I'm a, I'm a bit of a sucker for sleeving my cards because... We want the game to last as long as we can and play it as many times as possible. So we get a ton of uh, miniature cards. These allow you to set up the game and give you specific instructions on what to do during play. Move those to the side. We've got some door tokens, which you place on the board. 
Um, now, m most of the maps are all open. You can transition from one from one tile to another tile, unless it's got a door, which uh, means you've got to unlock it by completing certain objectives. Next is equipment cards. Now, you get an absolute ton of these as well. You get the character cards as well. There's Marcus Phoenix. There are four, four playable characters to choose from, and it's a one-to-four play game, so... Even if you do play this on your own, you can have a really good time with it. And Fantasy Flight, again, do do um, ensure that a lot of their games are available for solo play. Because the problem with this day and age is finding friends in video games online is quite easy. But finding friends or time between work and family and stuff to play board games is... Uh, yeah, it's not so easy. Those are the enemy cards and things. We've got... Now, these are action cards. So every player uses their action cards as their way to do things in the game, but but it also applies to their health. So the more cards you have in your hand, the healthier you are, the more wounds you can take before your character dies or you know gets knocked unconscious by the locust. So you've kind of got to um, micromanage. Do I take this action or do I save off from doing this action? So I've got more health when the enemies do attack me in their retaliatory stage. Absolute ton of tokens, from ammo tokens to emergence oil tokens. We've got grenade tokens, all sorts of stuff in there. Again, really, really nice quality. Uh, enemy tokens for when they take wounds. Uh, that's a berserker for everyone who has played the game. They know they are the big, angry, hulking female locusts. And they, they pack a nasty, nasty punch. Now these. This, this, this is the meat of the game. This is why we buy these games. Let me bust it open and show you some of them. We were speaking about the Berserker. But I mean, just, just look at the... Hopefully that zooms and focuses. Look at the, the quality of these miniatures. is really, really good. So that's a Berserker. Very, very nice. And if you scale this with a character... Um, I don't know who this is. I don't, have we got Phoenix on the first cut? We haven't. I think that's Dominic. Is that Dom Santiago? R.I.P. Dom. So, I mean... This, I mean, the scale's a little bit off. I know the Berserker is way bigger than this in the game. But for the board game mechanic anyway... Um, you take control, your character goes into one position like this, so obviously moving around. If they were any bigger, it would be a little bit weird. But you can kind of see how it works, and it really is such a, such a cool game. I'm looking forward to doing some plays in the future. Uh, so that's the figures. You get a ton of them. Um, there's Boomers, there's Standard Locust Warriors, there's some Explody Boys, I can't remember the name of those. There's the Berserker, and then there's four playable characters as well. And another thing for all of those board game players who need to be really, really precise with their rules. This is a line of sight tracker. So as you're playing the game, if you think that you do have line of sight to an enemy or, or an enemy doesn't have line of sight to you, you can whip out this bad boy, put it in a straight line like this with a few other game rules as well. And then you can say, haha, I can hit you, have some bullets. And then again, inside the box, it's just a nice little bit of padding with some artwork, which is pretty cool. Normally, I do throw these away because I tend to find foam inserts for my uh, miniatures games. But I've not found a Gears of War one yet, so we're kind of keeping this. But it's, uh, it's nice when it all goes back in. We'll get it back in in a minute. It's fine. It's fine. There we go. The power of a quick transition, and we're all, we're all nice. And then we'll, uh, we'll put all of these back in, and it'll be, uh, it'll be good to go. There we go. Easy. Easy. And that is... A quick look at my Gears of War, the board game. Something I still need to fully play through. I've, I've had a little bit of a play with this, but I do need to put some time into really, really playing it. Um, but hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes of your day to uh, listen to me rambling on about my my board game collection. I, I really love making these videos. More are coming. If you are interested in future content, I would like to watch... The previous video, I'll leave a link in the description and there will be a little end card as well. Please con consider subscribing, liking the video, all that cool YouTube stuff and get in touch in the comments if you want to talk about anything. If you want to see me do some playthroughs of this game, I am more than happy to set that up. I've got my, I've got a very basic setup right now for my videos, but it's, it's kind of working. It will progress, it will get better as I do more videos, build more confidence and, you know, all, all of that natural YouTube kind of stuff. So thank, thanks again, everyone. I really appreciate it. I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Have an awesome day, whatever it is you are doing in the world.